ChatGPT released their Atlas, ChatGPT Atlas browser. So like most of them, this is built on top of Chromium, so all your Chrome extensions and things come in. It's available now, although the agent mode is limited to Pro and Plus users. So if you're not a paying user, you get some of this, but not all of it. And it's only Mac OS. So tell me about it. There is a split screen chat interface on the kind of a little right hand sidebar that you can pull up with a button or a shortcut key on any web page, and it has access to the content of the web page. Super useful when you're browsing and you want to do a query, you don't want to open a new tab or whatever, you can just pull it up and ask questions about what you're seeing. A feature I haven't used as much, but seems super useful is what they call cursor chat. So if you're in any text input, think a Google Doc, a Gmail, draft, any kind of form you're in, you can highlight text and there's a little chalk with chat GPT button. It's a little hover, like a little overlay over the window and you can ask it to rewrite or reword or professionalize or whatever you want to do. And it'll kind of work on it in that little overlay. And then you can say insert and it will go right into the box. That is actually an amazing unlock and something that's going to be really helpful because how many times are you like trying to get your thoughts out on paper and you just get stuck on how you're going to word one thing and it totally interrupts your flow. So to have a thought partner right there that can help you like unblock that for yourself. I think that that's pretty cool. I actually really love the new tab interface, which is obviously a, like it just defaults to a chat GPT search. It can also search through your web history. It can search through your open tabs in your browsers. And when the response comes up, it's got these icons at the top. So it's got the standard chat GPT answer, but then you can have web search results, image search results, video search results, and news results. And so like, if you thought they weren't coming straight at the Google, they're coming straight at the Google with this one. The, the last big feature is agent mode. And so we've had agent mode before, but agent mode operated like in a virtual machine. And so if you needed to log into something, it was a pain. This, it just takes control of a single tab in your browser and does the thing. I think this is what we continue to see from OpenAI, which is lowering the bar of how difficult it is to use the system, like, but having it just be integrated right where you're actually doing the work and, and having it be able to do that for you is pretty remarkable and useful. So I'm just continually impressed by their product innovation.